Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Finnish high school mathematics competition, final round year 2000. Problem number two. We wish to prove that the integral part, i.e. the floor of a number 3 plus square root of 5 to the nth power is odd for every positive integer n. So my hints for this problem. First of all, notice that Mm. Notice that 3 minus square root of 5 is strictly between 0 and 1. Uh, then the binomial theorem can be very helpful. And the most important hint is to investigate this sum. When sum of 3 minus square root of 5 to the nth power plus 3 plus square root of 5 to the nth power may be very very helpful so give it a try and see you in a moment okay so as i said <coughs> it's a very good idea first to consider this sum and let's also recall the bin binomial theorem the binomial theorem The binomial theorem says that a plus b to the power of n equals the sum over k from k equals 0 to n of n choose k, a to the power of k, let's say, b to the power n minus k. Okay. And now I will just apply this binomial theorem twice. So I will get sum from k equals 0 to n and choose k 3 to the power of k minus square root of 5 to the power n minus k plus sum from k equals 0 up to n of n plus k 3 to the power of k square root of 5 to the power n minus k okay what now now we can combine it in a as a and write it as a single sum and here we have minus square root of 5 to the power n minus k plus plus square root of 5 to the power n minus k all right and now mm, we can write it separate as two different sums again but different this time first sum will be over all the k from 0 to n such that 2 divides n minus k and the second sum will be over the remaining k so when 2 does not divide n minus k very well what now let's see mm. in this first case when 2 divides n minus k we see that this number and uh, this number is uh, an integer. Why? Because square root of 5 squared is 5. So in other words, I can maybe more explicitly write the first sum as like that.
And what happens uh, to the other sum? Well, since our exponents are odd numbers, this one, these numbers are opposite. So after adding them, we get zero. So the second sum disappears completely. And maybe also because we see that we have two here, so we can put this two in front of our sum. And in, in fact, we see two things. First of all, this number is integer, it's integral. Moreover, it is even. Very important. And even integer. This number is an even integer. So, uh, 3 minus square root of 5 to the nth power plus 3 to the power square root of 5 to the nth power. I will write it as it is in two times this set of natural numbers. Yes, positive natural numbers. Okay, but now let's see. This number. Let's notice it. This number is in the interval 0, 1 uh, for every positive integer n. Because 3 minus square root of 5 is 3 minus 2 points to something, doesn't matter. So it's a number between 0 and 1. And if we take a number between 0 and 1 to be any power, in fact, it's always between 0 and 1. Okay, so now let's finally consider the floor, the integral part, so the floor of 3 plus square root of 5 to the nth power. I will write it as uh, 3 minus square root of 5 to the nth power plus 3 plus square root of 5 to the nth power minus 3 minus square root of 5 to the nth power. Very well. And we have established already that this number, this sum, is an integer. So we can put it in front of our power floor. And we will have plus the floor of 3 minus square root of 5 to the nth power. Okay. And now, because of this minus, this number is between minus 1 and 0. Floor of a function between minus 1 and 0 is minus 1. And let's look. We also we have also established that this number is even. So if we subtract one from an even number, this entire number becomes this entire number becomes odd. Oh maybe odd. Let's write it. Odd. Which closes our reasoning because we just we exactly wanted to show that this floor of this number is an odd integer. So, so the thing to remember from this uh, problem very often it's not the first, it probably it won't be the last problem where we have 3 plus some type of square root to the nth power. In these types of problems, it is very beneficial to consider the conjugate of this number. So when we have 3 plus some square root, it may be a good idea to consider something minus the same square root and to com combine these uh, numbers, either by adding them or subtracting them and by using the binomial theorem. Binomial theorem is also very, very important in these types of problems. Okay, that's it for this video. See you soon. Goodbye.